Copper oxide decoration controls niobium pentoxide photocatalyst selectivity in CO2 reduction. This paper was published in the Applied Energy Materials and was written by André Nogueira, Gelson Silva, Jéssica Oliveira, Osmando Lopes, Juliana Torres, Marcelo Carmo e Cauê Ribeiro. The population and industrial growth has resulted in an increase in demand for energy, with part of this energy coming from the burning of fossil fuels. This burning of fossil fuels causes an increase in the emission of gases harmful to the environment, especially carbon dioxide, the main gas that causes the greenhouse effect. In the photocatalyst process, CO2 is used as feedstock and reduced to organic compounds with added value using solid semiconductors and light as an energy source. Niobium pentoxide has potential for CO2 photoreduction with preferential CU evolution. Copper oxide is a viable choice due to its well-known ability to reduce CO2 to methane. In this work, we propose a yeah, niobium pentoxide copper oxide catalyst CO2 for reduction synthesized by solothermal method. Appropriate amounts of commercial niobium pentoxide powder were dispersed in the copper acetate solution, followed by thermal treatment. The samples were subjected to CO2 photoreduction and all of the copper oxide modifications increased niobium pentoxide activity, but the distribution of byproducts depends on the copper oxide content. Based on our results, we can propose a general mechanism for the interaction of the catalyst surface with CO2. Copper oxide and pen niobium pentoxide have been shown to be viable photocatalysts for CO2 reduction, leading to different byproducts. The copper oxide decoration over niobium pentoxide proposed in this work can potentially increase the charge separation. This mechanism study indicates that CU production is a key step in longer hydrocarbon production. The niobium pentoxide copper oxide catalyst is an adequate photocatalyst for artificial photosynthesis with a preference for methane production and possible optimization for larger molecules. For further details, please see the paper published in Applier Energy Materials.